Well, in this little series of building a chuck wagon, the bulk of this has been concentrating on building a traditional farm wagon, box wagon, grain wagon, whatever you might call it. So we started with a pile of, pretty much a pile of junk, and we were putting all new wood in old irons. Well, up until last week when we built the pan boot, this was pretty much focusing on a traditional wagon. Now we are going to go through the process of what actually make this a chuck wagon. Now before we get too far into today's video, I want to go back to a topic I introduced about six months ago, and that is our effort to translate this into multi-languages. I can only use Google Translate, so if you find that it is offensive, you can do two things. Either let me know, or turn off the closed captions. But if you would like me to continue in your particular language, please let us know in the comment section. And Diane, my wife, who watches that section closely, will let me know if you would like it in a particular language. So far, we have had the response from French and Russian, but if I don't hear from you, I'm going to stop doing all these different languages, about 20 in all. So let me know just what you would like. Well, at different times in the description section, I do make some Amazon links to some books that are related to the carriage trade. One book that I have used repeatedly for years and years is Don Berkebile's book, Carries terminology. It's available on Amazon and if you choose to find it helpful, these little Amazon links also help support the channel. In this Berker Biles book, I first looked at the entry of chuck wagon. Well, it says chuck wagon C roundup wagon. So if we thumb back to the roundup wagon, we find this description. Roundup wagon. A type of wagon with bows to support a cover used by cattlemen on trail drives in the west, also called a chuck wagon. It carried the cook's supplies and utensils. At the rear of the wagon, a high box was constructed having drawers inside for the smaller, more compact supplies. The rear cover of this box formed the end gate of the wagon and could be secured in a horizontal position to provide a work area for the cook. Inside the wagon, the larger supplies were stored, such as flour, potatoes, beef, or some items of trail equipment. So this chuck wagon, as Berkebaugh refers to as a roundup wagon, out west it is most commonly called the chuck wagon, was taking a, a familiar grain box and adding some supplies to the back, a kitchen called the chuck box, and the pan box or the pan boot underneath the rear. Well, the pan boot is what we built last week. This week, we're going to install the chuck box. Now, this chuck box was built by a friend of the owner's, and he was a, as I understand, a retired cabinet maker. So this is made of cabinet quality, not something typically that you would find a ranch hand building. But I also received comments last week about probably the cowboy didn't make this pan boot as quite as nice as I did. Well, I did put that in the description last week that I do have the advantage of electricity, I have the advantage of power tools and planers, which they probably did not. So the pan box back in the 1800 probably was rough lumber just nailed together to make it work. So I do have the advantage of power equipment and a little experience in woodworking, so my pan boot is probably a little nicer than those old ones were. But I think you can use your imagination that the technique and the style would have been very much the same, although the finished product might have looked a little different. Well, I would like this new chuck box to have the same tone of finish of the oil that I put on the new box that I'm building. Well, I thought this was unfinished pine, but as I looked a little closer, it has had some type of finish put on. 
Well, there was a little bit of spillage, maybe a little sloppiness. Got some spots in the front on a couple of the boxes. Even down the sides, uh, we got some runs or some rips or whatever this is. And I can't quite figure out what it is. I thought maybe it was glue, but it's not. It's some type of finish that was applied to this checkbox. So in order for me to put this oil stain on it, I need to somehow get that removed so it doesn't just keep showing up. Well, after my scraping and sanding, you know, once a finish is applied, the oil or the stain applied after that is gonna be affected. So I'm gonna to try to start out with a little back corner to see how this is gonna work. It kind of blended together. Like I say, it's kind of a cowboy outfit. I think it'll work. So I'm gonna oil this up and kind of tone it to the rest of the wagon.
Well, part of the struggle with being a one-man dog and pony show, I've got to figure out how to get this chuck box into the back of the box, kind of by myself. We'll get it in there. Well, this chuck box was built as a 32 inch width, fits on this 38 inch wagon box. Many of these pan boots are made full width of the wagon box themselves. However, I chose to make this pan box the same 32 inch width as the chuck box. Just because that's my personal eyeball, I like the symmetry of the two being the same size. This doesn't make one right or the other one wrong, that's the beauty of these being homemade. Whatever you do is right. Last week I talked about rabbits and dados and you can tell this chuck box was made by a cabinet maker, not a cowboy. See all these nice fine tuned dados and the back panel is put in with rabbits. And, and even as we open these drawers and look at them a little closer, we have dados for slides in and out, but we also have yeah, dovetails. I don't think a cowboy would have been doing that. And the bottom panel for these drawers, there are raised panels set in. Yeah, this is pretty fancy chuck box. It's not really cowboy style. The overall effect is just how they would have been. The quality of craftsmanship, way off the charts compared to cowboy work. So this is the main difference between a typical box wagon or grain wagon and a roundup wagon or chuck wagon. It's mainly in the back boxes that becomes the kitchen and the utility holders for all the pans. Once again, thanks for following on the process. Thanks for watching.